The Church of Scientology has been sued for kidnapping, human, tra human trafficking, and stalking. Church of Scientology and its leader, David Miscavige, has been sued for false imprisonment, kidnapping, stalking, human trafficking, and other shocking allegations in a bombshell lawsuit obtained by RadarOnline.com. In court papers obtained by Superior Court of California, the plaintiff, who is listed as unnamed Jane Doe, filed the lawsuit on June 18, 2019. She claims that members are subject to physical, verbal, and psychological, emotional, and or sexual abuse and or assault. The plaintiff is seeking a jury trial and damages. So I want to give you guys a background kind of on Scientology, if you're not familiar, um, and, and their tactics and what they do. Um, they are known. They are known globally for and in, in, from Australia to America for uh, harassment tactics. If somebody leaves the church, if somebody speaks out about the church, they will go and they'll harass you. If anyone's seen the show with Leah Remini, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, she's an ex-Scientologist who busts Scientologists on this kind of behavior and helps give victims of Scientology a chance to speak. Uh, David is the leader of the Church of Scientology. David Miscavige, right? Yes. And uh, he had his own father. He had his own father thrown into the hole. The hole is a and prison. And his wife. It's, well, yes. Yeah. I'm going to get to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a prison, if you will, where uh, you're you're rebrainwashed, basically, to see if you're even uh, worthy of being salvaged. So you endure unimaginable torture. And a lot of people say the whole can't be proved, blah, blah, blah. There have been hundreds of stories of victims in, from Scientology who know about the whole, who have faced the whole. So, uh, yeah, that it's a terrible place. Well, in 2005... Uh, David's wife, Shelly, went missing, and no one knew what happened to her. No one knows where she is. People have tried over and over and over again to get police to do a wellness check on her, and it seems like every single time they just come back and say, she is fine, kind of robotic, same responses over and over, kind of like maybe the church might have something on, it's kind of conspiracy theory-ish, but you have to understand nobody has seen her face. Nobody has seen her. No one's able to talk to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very scary. Well, this woman, this Jane Doe, kind of outs herself a little bit because who she was, she was the personal assistant to Shelly. Okay. Uh -huh. So they were both thrown into the hole together. And this woman says that she saw Shelly being removed from the hole, kicking and screaming by people, thrown into a car, and she was never seen again. I, how did how has the Church of Scientology gotten away with so much money, like, money and power? Like they are actually kidnapping people on U.S. soil and, and other you know first world countries, and they're you know they they have their own secret prisons, and this under the U.S. government they they're actively doing these things, and this is not conspiracy, guys. Like. Go, this is well documented like these are not stuff that they do and people are like oh no you're exaggerating no everybody knows that they're doing this and i don't understand how is it that like they're not shut down how is it and everything we say about the church of scientology like if you actually don't do any research it sounds like a conspiracy like a job conspiracy theory because these are the people that they wanted to become an official religion, even though they advertise as not a religion, but they want to be, for legal purposes, they want to be a religion so that they don't have to pay taxes and stuff. And they, they harassed the IRS. They, they, they went and dig, you They know, threatened the IRS. They threatened the IRS and the IRS was, gave in. They won. They won. Like, ima like imagine, like, you don't fuck with the IRS, okay? You don't fuck with the IRS, but these people went ahead and fucked with the IRS and they came out the other, way, other end of it winning. Like how, I mean, it's kind of badass, but it is but it's so bad <laughs> I mean, to be but able here's, to. <laughs> here's, more. here's more about what's going on. Okay. Right. And this is more that's actually listed in the lawsuit. So this is important because this isn't just what other members are saying. This woman is specifically saying this is what I've endured. This is what others have endured. And the church needs to pay for this. Okay, guys, children have been forced to apologize to their abuser for the children's role in their sexual abuse. Mm. In the religion of Scientology, a child is not really a child. We're reincarnated. 
Okay. So parents and and other adults treat children as if they are adults. Mm. So if a child is sexually abused, it's the adult part of them that's coming out Mm. and they need to apologize for the role they played in their own sexual abuse. Okay. The conditions that some members have been forced to live in, such as cleaning from 8 a.m. in the morning until midnight to sleep, to not get to eat but once a day, and even like table scraps from higher level officers. Um, they've endured this because they've signed a billion year contract to be in, in the billion the year contract. What the, is that even legally feasible to do that? I mean, how? Because the, Scientology says that it is because they, um, they, everyone's reincarnated. So your, your reincarnated self has to find your way back to the church and you have to continue serving. Um, they, they do something called bull baiting where members, including children are trained not to react to harassment, verbal assault, threats, or sexually explicit and inappropriate comments. And what this means is they line up children. Okay. They get in their face and say things like, I'm going to fuck you. I'm going to fuck your mother. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to say that on YouTube, but, um, they, they say these things to children, to children. Hmm. And the children have to sit there and not react to it. It's bull baiting. It's a, it's a thing that they do to make children stronger. And uh, the amounts of just abuse that people suffer here and people are coming out and people are saying this and they're, they're being, they're being bullied. They're being bullied. They have bullied is a mild is, you know, if you want to no. leave their church, they will they come after you people for wanting to speak out against what? this ruining people. Yeah. They, they go and it's all they're doing it all in a legal way. They have lawyers and they will go find every skeleton that you have in your closet and they will r- use it against you. And this is what they did against IRS because they, instead of just going after the IRS as a whole, they went after every individuals in the IRS. Like they found their secrets. I don't know how, but they, they and this is how they, even the police doesn't like. I don't know how, but they, like there are people missing and people are reporting it and the police is like not doing anything. How are they getting away with it? Again, guys, if you think this is a conspiracy theory, just go look at, I talked to the, I mean, you talked to this guy as well, the, the father. So the, the, the head of the church of Scientology, his, his name is David, right? David Miscavige, right? His father is Ron Miscavige, right? And I interviewed Ron Miscavige on the Secular Jihadist show. Like you guys could just look that up. Ron Miscavige, Secular Jihadist. And you talked to, you, you were at an event with him, right? And yeah, he, no, Ron, Ron Miscavige was also like imprisoned by his own son, right? In one of these camps, right? And he, he actually, you know, he had to, he actually got away. Right. He actually got away and he has story of how he got away. Like they had to plan this whole thing. Uh, it was it, it's, like, it's like a movie. I don't know how this is his his escape from that camp, but it is it should be turned into a movie. Right. But right. at some point, his own son uh, wanted to uh, make, you know, wanted his father to die. Right. And he actually planned that. Right. You just listen to that story. It's amazing. But. I don't know, like, this is all an open secret that everybody knows. Like, why is he, why is, why is, knowing all of this, why is David not arrested? Where is he right now? Why is he not arrested? The, knowing that he did, like, the, his father wrote a book about everything he has done, right? There's, his story is turned into a book. But why is he free? I don't understand. How is, is that possible? You know, Beach brought up a good point. Police in Clearwater know their place and some are members. And that's what other members are saying. They're saying that Scientology owns the owns the police around there. They say that they call the police when they've been raped. They've called the police when people have, uh, you know, harmed themselves. There was a Sea Org woman who was telling a story about how her husband uh, was basically bull baited and bullied into killing himself. Okay. And um, when they try to go to the police and say something... Well, all of a sudden, church church people know that they've done it, and they get labeled a suppressive person, and that means that they're liars, and they need to be disposed of in any way possible. Right. So, Pam is saying they have probably infiltrated different organization. Doesn't sound very far fetched given what they have done. Um, a godless atheist is saying they get away with it because they are mafia style religion. People go missing. Yeah, I know, but it seems like these are things that. 
you mafia stuff used to be like i don't know so 1960s or i don't know why like even today with all the information we have like are they really still gonna be able like how is it not, not somebody somewhere in the white house or in congress this not is not gonna decide like what the hell how are we letting these people get away we're just committing crimes under you know and on our soil and you know the police is in bed with them like how in the united states as you know how i don't i really don't understand how powerful these people can be like it's as uh, it's are, are we gonna get in trouble because we're not, like we're gonna come to, <laughs> we're gonna go they're gonna come sue us aren't they next thing you know there's gonna be like a website about us and how we do terrible oh, things yeah yeah okay okay i mean i have said so many controversial stuff that i don't know what how else are gonna embarrass me i don't know i mean everything <laughs> I would end up. uh the mad gaseous uh, is saying uh, they are very wealthy. Scientology is very is a very expensive religion. Yeah, it's actually one of the only religions that wants the money up front rather than first getting you brainwashed and then asking you for money. They're like, no, you just have to start paying right at the beginning, which I don't... You well, know. you get a free reading. Oh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> free reading, that's all you get. But after that, you have to pay. Yeah. The e-meters. Let me see what the top comments are. Um, GC is saying the church... Oh, this is one comment. Should I read it? was okay i'll read it did you um no 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 that's too long of a comment jack is saying still better behave than the catholic church hmm i don't know how we can compare that but okay uh milika is saying to be honest scientology is one of my favorite religion it was literally written by a science fiction writer and people bought it actually scientology is a very good way of showing people how you know because a lot of people say like hey you know uh how could Christianity be big unless something really meaningful, was there something meaningful in there? Like these things don't just become popular for no reason. Some people say it must be because of God or must be because there's something useful in it. Or how Islam becomes so big or how Hinduism has become so big. Like how could a cult like this just start? And Scientology is so great because we could just, because it just happened in, in our time. And we could just see how it happens. Like, well, it probably Christianity and Islam and Hinduism probably happened the same way Scientology started. Like, look, like you can see, I mean, we don't know for sure, but we can see an example of how that is possible, right? For something to just, something, somebody just wrote a story and all of a sudden people just believed it and all of a sudden now it's a religion. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.